people, this is Luthias here, bringing you my thoughts on miscreated. Now I'm going to give you about 20 minutes of gameplay here. This is where we start up, it's at night. You can hear the creatures. First thing of all, you can see the graphics are excellent. Um, I'll bring you a bit of gameplay through the day as well. Just want to show you what we've got here. You start out with a flashlight, some sunglasses, a long sleeve shirt, tennis shoes, and a acid wash jeans. <laughs> acid. Okay. Um, of course. Oh damn! Walked into a zombie right right from the get go. I'll just try and get away from him. Can hold my can hold my alt to just see where he is. Uh, check if we oh two zombies. Okay, sorry, not zombies in miscreated. I apologize. It's uh, mutants. Just gonna keep running till they give up. I'll be able to lose them around the corner here. Okay, I think that's far enough. And there's a fire burning there. Something that's getting my attention. And listen if there are any mutants around here. In any case, yes, why was I? First of all, graphically, this game is beautiful. So um, they've developed it on a cry engine. It's 12 guys working privately all over the world, keeping in contact with each other through email and Twitter and um, video conferencing. And from where this game has started to where it is now. I'm really excited about it. Played some DayZ, which is of course a much bigger map. Um, lots of things that still aren't fixed in that game. Um, but yeah, map's too big, players are a bit too toxic, but you know, it's got its good points. Um, but the thing is, when this game um, gets to where, you know, the developer stopped with um, DayZ, then you won't be able to compare it and of course graphically everything that you look at is you know to size when I walk into a house it feels like I'm in a house the the cupboards the doors the windows everything feels real um, so graphically and detail wise they went a long way with this game and um, the maximum map sizes on these are 36 players but I really need you guys to give this this game a, a chance because uh, the server base, the servers are still a bit quiet for me. Um, I mean, according to me, this game must be, all the servers must be full. I can hear a mutant and I can't believe there isn't one here. I'm just going to take out my flashlight. Yep, it's screaming. It's going to come. Just don't know from which way. Oh, yep. There it comes. Okay. Ah, oh, goodness gracious. Put my flashlight off for other players. See if we can get rid of this. Hey, see, I've just started. You know, there are definitely um, threats. Is a survival game, as you know. Oh, I got over that wall. That's really gonna bug him up. Okay, now he went around the wall. Like you can see, these mutants aren't dumb. But like I said, you can bug him around. And I think all these walls 
it will become a problem for him. And I mean, he was protecting this place, so hopefully there is something here. So yeah, let's just get in here. And put on our flashlight. I'm just going to first person view. Now, like I said, everything you see in here looks real. Okay, the flashlight, you can see it flashing around, old batteries wearing down slowly but surely. But as I said, everything looks real. And um, the first time me and my son played it together, he f it w we were in a thunderstorm also at night. And he freaked out, you know, he, um, he wanted to stop playing because it really emerges you in the game you know you really feel like you're there we had a we had two guys trying to hunt us down with um because we let we were running outside with our flashlights on that was a beginner mistake um but yeah they were hunting us down with a truck and and a quad bike and you know it was just we were hiding in the bushes waiting for them to you know stop their search and move on to a different place and it really freaked him out it had me on you know it had me on the edge of my seat there we get some corn to eat as you can see on the bottom right hand side you can suffer from radiation right at the top um, it's only when you go to radiated areas you can the your heat is also shown there on the next patch they're gonna um, let the weather and the rain and the water and everything affect you um, just something they're sorting out there of course, your oxygen when you swim, that works 100%. You can drown your um, water intake, you know, and then under that is the food. And you can see both of them are going down. I haven't even been playing long. And, of course, your health. Now, if you get shot by another player and you don't die, um, you most probably going to have a blood marker. Now, at the top of the right-hand box there at the bottom, it will show you a little um, blood drop that means you're bleeding one blood drop is fine you can tear your shirt into rags and, and stop the bleeding or you can get a bandage but if you get killed by a mute or if you get hit a lot by a mutant or maybe hit more than once from a player without dying then that those blood drops become more so you can end up with two or three on you which will just um let you bleed out a lot faster so the game has definitely got its survival aspects and you know the amount of work these guys are putting into this game within a year um you know just just blows my mind um, even with the, the ui you know that's not the best in the world but it's plain it's simple it's got a good crafting system um you know with the weapons what i like is with the melee weapons you can take a baseball bat put some nails through it so you get the bat, you get the nails, and you make a, a nail bat, you know. Um, you get blueprints, which you can even craft more stuff. And of course, um, you with a crossbow, you can get arrows, and then you can craft the arrows into poisonous arrows, irradiated arrows, um, barbed arrows. You've got your weight. You can't carry too many things, which is realistic. You can create a clan. And... Um, yeah, I mean, when, I, when I'm running around, then I don't care... I mean, the the UI system, you know, they're working on it already. I can see they've been working on it, but they're making plans to make it better. But that that doesn't bother you because when you're running outside in third-person view, you know, you get the full effect of it. The rope, you can do things with the rope, probably not at the beginning. But uh, I'll pick it up in any case. Um, can't remember now what exactly you use rope with. But... Uh, there's a purpose to it. Of course, um, they, they they talk to the players permanently, you know. Um, they keep us up to date. They tell us exactly what they're going to do. I'll add two links at the bottom of the video um, where the developers talk to you for about an hour to 40 minutes and, you know, tell you everything that, that they're planning and where the game's going. And you can see they're working on it. You know, it's 12 private guys 
It's not Sony, it's not Bethesda, it's 12 private guys working on this game. And, um, I mean, yeah, you know, we must support people like this, you know, that, that can bring us a game like this. I've been looking for a long time, and I'm, I'm honest with you, Daisy did not do anything for me. Um, a lot of people played it in the beginning, it didn't do anything for me. Um, the nether i mean daisy could have you know could have gone far but again the developers just stopped putting in the effort you know they probably made a lot of money i don't know um nether as well um i think it could have been a really good scary game but you know walking through tables and chairs and everything realism is very important to me um no game gets it perfect but you know um the realism of the game is very important. I don't want to walk through stuff. I don't want to walk through people. I don't want to walk through characters. When somebody hits me, I really want to feel I'm getting hit, you know, and I want to feel the, the atmosphere of my situation, and this is what Miscreate gives me. Um, I've played this game f uh, for a while now, but in the beginning, as a 35-year-old guy, I was freaked out in some situations, especially with players hunting me down at night. And um, I've been on survival courses in real life, you know, running through the trees there in the forest um, with the birds and the, the sounds that the game gives you. These guys really put a lot of effort into it. I mean, holy crap, I, I just shat myself almost there, you know, with my shadow. I mean, come on, guys, you know. Um, <laughs> it's... Uh, I, you know, I just feel we must support these people, and I, I am disgusted with the community for not, I don't know where the game was a year ago, I've been playing it for about a month or two months, but um, I'm, I'm sure that the community had their reasons, you know, um, for not jumping onto this game, but the game has got a lot of competition, I mean, the survival thing is getting, you know, um, wiped out with Rust and Daisy and, uh, you know, Rust and Daisy are the ones that pop into my head immediately. But you, c you can understand what I'm saying, the competition is a lot out there. First time I saw Miss Creator on Steam without playing it, you know, just looking at the, at the um, picture, you know, didn't do anything for me. And then... Um, Got, uh, I read some good reviews about it. My son went looking for survival games. Um, mentioned a few. And again, you know, when I buy a game, I don't want to waste my money. I don't want to waste my time. And I went, I went to YouTube. Luckily, some guys really put some nice videos on YouTube. Role-playing. I mean, you can just go look at some other videos of Miscreated. There's this one video where the guys are role-playing and it's like... Uh, I can't remember now, I'll try to give you the description of that video as well, but I mean, the role playing on this game, if you if you put some effort in, you know, it's like, it's, they call themselves the bandit, it's like a Russian guy, and um, yeah, keep, keeping my flashlight on now, it's not the end of the world. Um, yeah, but, you know, there's a one one guy and a Russian guy, the Russian guy's talking like this, you know, all the time. And, yes, give me, your, give me your shoes, man, give me your shoes. Okay, okay, give me your shirt. You know, they're letting the guys hold your hands up. And, I mean, I'm inside now, but if I can just show you there, there I can wave, you know, and wave... show you the finger, whoa, you know, there's different things I can do, come here, to give you a thumbs up, when you're outside in the day, you know, you can see it more clearly, but, yes, you know, letting people hold their hands up, and, um, and physically roaming them, because we call them Bambis, like me, basically, I've just started, I haven't got any weapons on me, um, if you've got a, any kind of weapon on you, even just an axe, you know, I'll be running away without thinking about it. If I'm stupid enough to stand my ground, I'll die. And, um, yeah, you know, they go around robbing Bambis and um, 
taking out groups that look for trouble and at the end they running <laughs> riding over zombies with their quad bike and um, at the end they by mistake <laughs> ran over their own their own friend but yeah I, I cracked myself on that video i found it very funny and yeah you know the game is it's got a lot to do especially with friends um and really with busy servers there are there are not, aren't, aren't a lot of busy servers at the moment but you can every time you get on you can get one busy server but it is difficult to survive guys i can promise you that um one time i walked into a hangar found a shotgun and some 12 gauge shells i was um oh great got a pack that gives me eight extra slots so that's fantastic lucky there um Yeah, I found, I found a shotgun and shells. I was amped, and before I even turned around, two guy, two other players, you know, were shooting me in the back. Um, went and hid behind a crate. Um, got my shotgun out, pumped up, run out there. You know, they've already got me cornered. Um, screamed freedom. You know, gonna die with some action. And um, yeah. Cracked myself afterwards as well because I ran out with a shotgun, but I forgot to load the gun. As you can see here, you where the, my Red Bull can is here at the top. When you load a gun into your third, into your number three slot, or your number one slot, depending if your pistols are your secondary weapon and big guns like a shotgun will be your primary weapon. It's got as soon as you equip the shotgun at the top um, where the Red Bull is. Or the energy drink you will get a slot where you must place your ammo in and if you don't do that yeah you know, you're gonna shoot blank so i came out screaming at them because there is voice over you know when guy when people are close to one another and you know you can beg for your life if you want to as well i'm a braveheart fan so i never beg for my life you know i just do what needs to be done die in honor um but yeah i came out you know running shooting blanks so yeah that was quite funny uh, sorry, hearing another mutant here. And for now it's dark, um, but I'm keeping my flashlight on, hoping someone will see me. If with if you run around with your flashlight, then people can see you about two kilometers away um, in the dark. So there are other players on here. So I'm not going to do the stealth option now got bandages so i can take a few shots hoping i'm gonna get a gun okay well police baton you can see you can see i can only put it in my second or third slot it's not a primary weapon i'd rather use that i'm definitely not gonna use a squeegee to hit people with you can of course but um, i need something with a bit more oomph than that and yeah Rotten apple, you can use that for poison. So don't think, you know, I'm going to eat the rotten apple. I can if push comes to shove. I'm jumping because you do get weapons on top of shells. Okay, don't think I'm uh, one of those rabbit boys jumping around like a crazy person when I get into con combat. Only time I'll be doing that is if I get shot from a distance and I can't see the player, then I'll just maybe jump once or twice so that he doesn't get an easy headshot. But I mean, yeah, you can get loot anywhere. Like it's literally anywhere. If a car, if a vehicle is clear, not full of um, fauna and flora like this, then you then it normally holds weapons as well. I love lo looking through red cars for weapons, but when it you know when it's grown in like that with the plants, so then most of the time it's got nothing in it. And I mean, you can just see the detail, uh, you know, this, I'm not on my toes or anything, I've died like in 50 times already, um, and uh, yeah, so I'm just chilling now, showing you, but I mean, this got great weather, it's got tornadoes, thunderstorms, rain, you name it, you know, it's got everything.
and I'd really love you guys just to give this game a chance, you know, give it, and I mean it, oh, I've got a nine more clip, just need a gunner, um, yeah, I think it's less than $20 or something, sorry, I thought I heard footsteps there, um, Right, just for in case. Okay, I've thought I've got that, so <laughs> Okay. Now that's why flashlight's important <laughs> because this game is real. Uh you have to go outside, you know, to uh like like really I've, you're gonna struggle to find the door like in real life. Now I'm outside. Just gonna get to my third person view now. And yeah, there I can show you the baton get some good strikes here so yeah um just have to get my baton out but i mean <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh if i hear footsteps then running is probably my best option or we can try and you know um see who can get who first in the dark you know uh, see whose headphones are the best Now, of course, I can quickly check. Somebody said hi. Um, I can go hi. See, now the chat only works in your area. The map is perfect size. It's 8 by 8 kilometers. And, uh, now there we've got Roll giving us hi. Antra's one, hey. And now people are talking. Okay, give me a sec. Ha, ah, can you hear me? Are you close? Yeah, Talk a bit louder, man. I'm making it a YouTube movie. What? I'm coming outside with a flashlight. Let's see what these guys do. Or are you going to kill me? It will be a good end. I'll bring you another view. There they are. Bring you another. Here I am, guys. In the street. Yeah. Hi. Hi. You guys, Bambi's as well, or no, no, not. Okay, I've basically just got a baton on. I've got a baton on me, so I mean, I haven't got a lot of loot. Won't really help you killing me. Fire station. Have you been through the fire station? Um, your microphone is a little bit laggy dude. I can't really understand what you're saying. Oh, sorry, sorry about that. Um, I'll leave you guys in peace. Um, can I come check with you through the fire station? Give you, I'll give you a gun if I find one. Yeah. Hello, no problem. Hi, cowboy. Let's see, they've got an axe. Uh, oh, they've got weapons. Mutant behind us. I'm gonna go get him. Okay, so my chat is a bit lag. Um, I'll see on the video. Well, of course, on the video will be fine. So that was. That's not nice. Guys can't hear me right. There was a mutant here. Again, guys. You know, just. It's peaceful. Realistic. On a German server. Guys are probably German. I lost the mutant, guys. He was there and then he disappeared. Why would it why would a mutant disappear if there isn't another player there? 
Oh! Another oh. player, another player! Uh, ich würde einfach weg sein. Renn einfach weg, die meisten die Waffen am Schießen. <lacht> Guys! Can't we take him all together? Can't we take him all together? <laughs> hey, you guys have guns, man. Come on. We can loot him. C come on, guys. We can loot him. Is he dead? No, we can, t we can take him all together. Nah, let's don't try it, dude. I'll go first. I'll, I'll I'll go first. You guys back me up with your weapons. <laughs> you're you're fucking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Here I go. There he is on the field. On the left. See him right there. This way. Okay. Come. 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 <laughs> Like I said, I'm not scared of dying. No, I'm gonna take this guy on without weapons. Yeah, Hello! Hello! Hey dude, we just want to talk, where are you? Nice. Hey sniper! Can you believe it? This dirty Harry ran away. Guys, you still here? These are can for Bucky. <laughs> okay, guys, that was quite uh, um, quite exciting. Um, and as you can <laughs> as you can see, <laughs> it's not about dying. Some people even run away. You know, it's a uh, it's a r real immersive game. This if a guy sees three other players, he doesn't think he's Rambo. <laughs> Funny enough, the three of us were the scared ones. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll make another video in the daytime or when there's a storm. Um, and yes, thanks again for watching. Luthias out. I hope this video was helpful, guys. <laughs>